Happiness and handmade boots. Kangaroo leather. Grant stone boots. I don't usually get my hands uh, on these fancy boots, but these uh, Grant stone diesel boots in jungle kangaroo were sent to me by my Facebook friend Alex. What a kind and nice man. And thanks Alex for helping me out by sending me different boots to look at. And I am usually you know more of a rugged let's not argue about what the word rugged means but more of a rugged <laughs> rugged boot guy these are more dress boots um, and uh, we, we talked about the Truman's I think in a video or uh, maybe the last video or a couple videos ago um, the almond shaped toe I am a round toe guy you know like you think about army boots or iron rangers or steel toe boots um, these again like the Truman's uh, are a all uh, almond toe boot and you, yeah the Truman's are more of a rugged boot they, they have the commando sole uh, this is a Danite like sole they call it the micro stud sole it's they look a little bit smaller than some of the Danite little studs or whatever you want to call them and it says on there Grant Stone Goodyear Welt footwear their proprietary sole that's on these boots um, so yeah I, I haven't I, we're gonna talk a little bit more about fancy boots um, I don't have a lot of fancy boots uh, uh, I, because I'm a construction guy so um, if I wanted a fancy boot uh, if I were wearing a suit and some of you may think this is tacky but I put on a fancy pair of cowboy boots that's what here in the West here in California those of us that came from farming families, when you dress up, you put on a real nice pair of cowboy boots. So those are my dress um, uh, dress shoes is cowboy boots. But lots of guys who are in an office environment, who are used to not you know, wearing big round steel toe looking boots on construction, really could probably look down at their feet and enjoy that very classic almond style. Now, this diesel boot is in Jungle Kangaroo. Um, it is Italian veg tanned kangaroo. It is green. That's why I think they call it jungle. I, those, it's got some leather laces. Um, I don't know if Alex put those in or they, I kind of think they probably came with them and they're long and probably enough to wrap around, but I, I don't know if those are green or black on the colored side, but look how it's the, the, the kangaroo starting to roll a little bit to the leather. Um, I don't know if you can see that. See that? Yeah, you can see it right there really well. See, look at it starting to roll. These don't have a lot of wear on them. And um, I really, <laughs> I you know, I bought them from my friend Alex and I, I don't know um, whether I'm going to keep them or pass them along because um, I really love the leather. I have kangaroo boots that you've seen uh, in the, the vintage, my early 70s vintage. I have two pairs of uh, Red Wing 888s which are Red Wing Irish Setter uh, sport boots. And I have the cases with those. You've seen those in other videos. I love kangaroo le leather. It's supposed to, for, for the thickness of it, it's very thin, so it's light. But for the thickness of it, it's supposed to be, you know, stronger than cow leather. Um, if you look at this, it's got a 360 degree, it's good you're welted, but a 360 degree flat welt on this. And if you look at the stitching and the finishing, on this kind of low block heel, the stitching on the the heel counter and uh, the vamp to the quarter is um, it's really nice. These boots are lovely, the Grant Stones. Now, let me tell you a little bit about um, the Grant Stones. Um, Grant Stone was started in 2016 by an American guy from Michigan. Now they are made in China and there's a lot of controversy about Chinese made things. Um, many of the things we use in this in the United States are Chinese made. Our iPhones, I think most of them are Chinese made and we all got to have that. So it's, it, it's kind of a weird thing. Um, uh, you know, there's people, different people all over this world. What, what we don't want is we don't want to support sweatshops. We don't want to support um, people that aren't, uh, you know, factories or owners of industry that aren't paying a living wage to people. 
Um, supposedly Grant Stone does very well at that, at uh, making their employees are sure that they're taken care of. Um, it's made in a place called Zyman Island. And I kind of looked that up on the map. It's just a, it's a very, it's not like a remote island. It's just an island right off of the shore where there's bridges to some of these cities and industrial areas. Um, the, the, okay, on the Grant Stones, you need to buy them. A, these are a 10D. I wear a 10.5D, so you need to buy them a half size big. These are maybe a tiny bit big, but they're just perfect on me. Um, I, if if I weren't to like this more sleek and dressy uh, build, I really, really, because I love the finish and the detail. It's just a, a gorgeous boot. I, I would like to try their uh, brass boot which is the mock. This is the diesel boot. I would like to try the brass boot um, because I, if, if I could get a mock toe that had this kind of detail and finishing, I think that would be really nice. It's a um, really beautiful boot. Antique brass, three speed hooks, four eyelets. little scuff on it right there didn't really do anything to these just took them out of the box my friend Alex kept them very nice so these are 390 bucks I don't know that I'd pay 390 bucks for these I think they're definitely worth it if this is the type of boot that you want more than worth it especially for this for me is and is is an exotic leather kangaroo um, Comparable boots I was looking up online. Now, none of these other boots do I actually have. Um, and I would like to have them and look at them and compare them. Um, this is my first more pair of dressy boots um, at this level. Allen Edmonds. Okay, this started in 2016. Oh, it's on their Leo Last, by the way. If you're wondering what last it is, it's the Leo Last by Grant Stone. Okay, back to this. Allen Edmonds. It's comparative to the, what they call the Higgins Mill. I see a lot of guys post those on Facebook and stuff. Allen Edmonds, not 2016. They were started in 1922. Uh, and they are um, made, and the company's in Wisconsin, Berlin, Wisconsin. Okay, Allen Edmonds are 495. They're made in the U.S. Uh, the Grandstone is a U.S. company, but they're made in China, um, or a person from the U.S. Um, but Allen Edmonds, everything here in the U.S. is assembled and made, and um, they are 4.95. So you're looking at 100 bucks more for those. Um, then we could go to something like even older. Alden goes from Allen Edmonds, 1922. Alden, founded in 1884. Uh, their plain toe boot. They are made, and the business is in uh, Massachusetts, one of the states here in the United States, and they are. Uh, for, um, Alden's are 710 bucks. Okay, so now we go up like 300 and something dollars for that. And I don't know that the um, the Allen Edmonds of the Alden's are made too much better, look too much better, or seem too much better to me. I, I tried these on, they're wonderful on the foot. I mean, these are, they're lined, the, um, The insole is, is the footbed is all leather and it's a beautiful lining in there. Okay, we could go even further. We could go to Trickers, one of the oldest shoe companies continuing in England, um, 1829. And their Northampton boot, or they're made in Northampton, England. Uh, some of the Trickers boots that look equivalent are 785 bucks. So you keep going up. Um, I probably wouldn't, I, I, I really wanted to get the Alden Indie boot. I probably wouldn't get that now. Um, the Trickers, they have some monkey boots that I really like, but they're in excess even of uh, 785 or around that price. So I don't think I'd I buy those either. So none of these boots I would even buy. But if you're a fancy boot guy, um, boots are my thing. So I love examining them and studying them and talking to you about them. We can go back to some American companies now, um, there's a new company uh, in, um, uh, I, I think it's Buffalo, New York, is Parkhurst, founded in 2018. Their boots, uh, part of them are made in Spain and then they're finished in the U.S. 
they're 418 so they're like 30 almost 30 bucks more than these um, there's another new company from Washington, out of Washington, D.C., and his boots are made in Spain called Caswell Boots, founded in 2019. They're 420 bucks also, so about 40 bucks more. Um, I don't know that any of these are better than the others. I think trickers are probably a, a way step up. Um, but what I'm seeing is that the, um, the boots that are not made in China, that are made in Spain, now are forty dollars more expensive. The boots made in the United States are one to three hundred dollars more expensive. The 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 boots made in England of this style and finish are about four hundred dollars more. So there you have it. The jungle diesel jungle kang kangaroo boot by Grant Stone. I think it's a gorgeous boot. My style, why am I doing these boots? Why am I reviewing them to you? Because I want to, because it's fun, because I've got them in my hands and I want to tell you about them. I'm more like a, I want a boot that could take you through the zombie apocalypse, hose them off, sh buff them, shine them up, and then wear them out to dinner to a fancy thing. I, 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 I Maybe I'm a tacky guy, but I, there are boots. Um, I'm wearing some Knicks boots right now. The um, You know, see these boots? Look at that. You can, um, for me, I'll step out in these boots. I'll, I'll uh, th these will get you through anything. These new Knicks are some of the toughest boots they make. But I feel like I could wear these to a dressy thing. Maybe people look at me funny. I don't go out with a lot of super rich, elite, fancy people. If I, if I go out with people, it's like rock and roll people. So, um, people that are in that industry. So, my style and my... My boots are perfect for that. Hey, I wanted to talk to you a little bit again. I, I think I touched on this before about the environment. I heard this really good interview on the radio um, from this gal who was, you know, one of these uh, college professors studying the clothing fashion industry and everything. And she was, they were talking about PU leather, um, which is um, polyurethane, uh, other faux leathers, which some of them are made out of PVC versus leather leather um uh in this case they were talking not about kangaroo but beef leather um that comes from cows so what they were saying is the process to make synthetic leathers is more harmful to the environment and the synthetic leathers they never go away they don't biodegrade they end up little if little pieces do come off then you end up with these microplastics and um leather boots beef leather boots are uh, actually the leather is a byproduct of the of the the meat. So I, I know some people are vegan, or uh, um, you know don't believe in killing animals of any kind for any reason. And I am sympathetic to your cause. I don't completely understand it. I do eat meat, but um, the the hides are just going to go in the landfill. And but you know the the hides would deteriorate and biodegrade and everything, but when we make our footwear out of them, when we make a, a legacy type of footwear, footwear that could be worn and passed down, uh, I mean, is that not sustainable? Is that not saving the planet? And then when it finally does go in the landfill, then it degrades the leather and goes back into the earth. So I, I believe in leather boots and leather clothing and leather goods, and that's why I'm talking to you about it and I believe in protecting the earth. I believe that we should begin, you know, I used to be kind of a climate denier type of guy. Ah, right, the earth is cyclic. Come on, it's going through stages. It's doing what it's doing. Heard another interview on the radio and they uh, create these models and they say, yeah, you know, people like, like say that, they're right. The, the earth is heating up and it is part of a, a process, a cyclic process of what the earth does. But then they, they, they took humanity out of the model and it wasn't like it, what's happening now. So it like way reduced any kind of climate changing that is natural having us on the planet. So we're here and we're pretty much here to stay. So what we need to do is um, to, you know, uh, like Michael Jackson would say, you know, make a home for future, consider future generations and uh, that we're just not um, 
using casting shoes aside every few months and that rubber never goes away instead you buy a pair of boots like that you got them to the end and um, so that is what I have for you today Grandstone diesel kangaroo boots they are very nicely done they're very well finished if this is an almond toast style that you would like I recommend them almost over anything as far as what I've seen on the internet and pricing um, for myself I'll stick with the more and I don't want to argue about the word the more rugged or heritage workwear bigger round toe stuff but if you're into fancy boots I think the Grandstone boots are a good boot for you happiness and love from the carpenter's office Please be safe in this heat. We're having heat waves here in California. It was about 104 in, around here this week. So please stay hy hydrated. Please make sure that other people, even you see people on the streets, if they're begging or whatever, maybe go give them some water. That'd be a great thing. Bottles of water. I know the bottles aren't sustainable, but they're making them thinner and thinner and thinner. So let's all take care of each other. Let's take care of the planet. And let's do it in fancy boots. <laughs> Happiness and love. If no one told you today, the carpenter loves you. Happiness.